hello hello it's a sunny day and i'm gonna start with this brush i gesso the canvas to give it a little bit of texture normally i let it dry but i'm not gonna do that this time i'm gonna start adding colors with the gesso i'm gonna use my beautiful Amblisha titanium i'm gonna start from over here and I will show this up. And what the gesso is doing right now is giving me some movement to blend, which is nice. Just gonna spray a little bit. I'm just gonna move it around. So I'm thinking that I wanna do something with a nice dark blue. All right, so I have my water soluber. Soluber. I have my water soluber. I don't know how to say it. It's water based crayons. They are like soft pastels. And I'm going to have a pencil as well. Uh, I should have, I just going to trace when I want my horizontal line. Okay, and then right here is gonna be nice and open so i'm gonna use brown okay i'm just gonna put the brown here just to mix it with the gesso and again guys there is not a why you doing this on top of the gesso no, I just want to do something different, that's all. I love to do the interest test. So how you can see, this is full of gesso. Please make sure that you wipe it, otherwise it would be hard to use it after. I'm going to get my pishy one now, and I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to get a little bit of hot pink towel I just want to give some color while I'm mixing the browns and the gesso with the white it's gonna be nice so now I come with my poly knife and I do you know some blending here and there I find this tool is just my favorite I use it on everything I'm gonna get a little bit of the gesso up here. See, the, the idea of using the gesso before it dries is that you can blend so nicely, right? And what is this? And it just looks beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna do the same over here on the lines. I love this already, guys. Just the colors. This Canva, I stretch it myself just for me to be able to do this kind of work. And let me tell you what's the thing. All right, so I'm gonna leave this part up here like this for now because I like. I like what the gesso did. Just make it softer and blending it. It's just beautiful. the rest of that in here it's amazing oh got stuck in here blue it's a combination of gray which is nice i just love it and then i just gonna come over here and with my awesome palette and I do my magic. A bit of a spray because I want that to drip on me nicely like that. Let's just wash out. Love it. 
Now I'm gonna get a little bit of my gesso here. And I'm gonna come here and do stuff. Let's just put that a little bit over here as well. Charcoal, and I'm gonna charcoal black all this area here. See what I'm doing? I'm just moving the paint. When this dry, it's gonna have a like beautiful effect. It's massive, but it's worth it. My lighter spray. And I'm gonna put it over here. Not too much, because I want it to be super, super light. So I might get my paper towel. Just do my thing. Okay, and keep moving it down here. So I like the idea of like using the gesso thrust. It makes it helps me to keep the painting wet a lot, and then with that white I can do so much mixing other colors. So I find this super cool. So right now I'm just using my <laughs> paper towel. It's gonna be nice. Okay, it's just blending it here and there as well. So now I'm blending the charcoal with my gesso. It's gonna be pretty abstract actually. This is gonna be very pretty abstract. I'm already obsessed. And then I'm gonna just mix the colors a little bit here. This canvas is so soft. <laughs> Look at how it moves. The same way that before, I want these colors to just drip all the way down here nicely like that. I like it. Same here. My palette and I'm gonna smooth things around you know do the magic that this beautiful palette for cakes is giving me so good okay I'm gonna put a little bit of this blue up here because I think I like how it looks into like a very light purple. I like that. All right, so now for sure we have to let it dry because we need to make more layers. So I like this so far. Let's let it dry and we'll be right back. All right, so now I'm gonna use a mix of burnt sienna and ultramarine blue with a little bit of Picalo blue and I'm gonna work on the areas that they are most dry. So I'm gonna come in here. And again, this is my oldest brush, it's not soft, so I'm doing scratches. Okay. I'm putting a little right here. Okay. I like that very much. Put it right there. I'm gonna soft here a little bit, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of my pinky, just a tiny bit, not much, and then I'm gonna mix this to give me a little bit of like a purple kind of thing. I like that very much, and I'm gonna blend this. Remember, we're just making layers and see what we come up with. And it's not nothing set in stone. It's my white. Okay, just 
what's going on guys here just like that Now I'm gonna get my Havana Cafe and I'm using the same brush as the blue and I'm gonna come over here my soft brush and I'm gonna soft this a little bit it's just a little bit with the brush okay I like that Oh, I like this very much. I have more white on my brush. I'm gonna come over here. So over here in this area, I'm gonna go very light. But on my pinky, I'm gonna put it over here and a little bit over here. And I'm gonna blend all of this. Okay. So I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm going back and forth with the colors that I start. I just, the first layer was like, most like a sketch. And now I have that beautiful palette that I wanted to have. So it cuts into a gray with a little bit of light like sandy. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna use my heavy body titanium white. And I'm gonna come and I'm gonna do like we are randoms, random strokes here and there. Okay? Because that's what all about abstract. It's just like don't think, just do and keep going and see where it takes you. You want to stop because you love that, you stop. If you feel that it needs more work, just keep working. All right, so now I'm gonna get this white over here. I'm gonna use it all in here to light this area of the painting a little bit more. That's good. So now that I have this white over here, I know when I spray, it's gonna give me like a nice effect over here. And that's what I want. I want that thing that looks amazing. I'm gonna do the same over here. And then I'm gonna work on those strokes here a little bit. Same over here, now that it's wet, so it's more easy to move the paint around. This is cool. I like, I like what's happening. Right, so now I will come with my palette knife and I'm gonna do stuff. I want the paint to go through, so I'm gonna actually scrape the paint that I could now. And I'm gonna do crazy stuff by leaving most of the things that I put, right? So that's why it's that background there. So that way we can see a little bit more of that pink but at the same time, we have other rooms open for colors to come through. She's what makes an abstract painting awesome. All right, I'm gonna come on this over here, here. And now again, I'm gonna come with my palette knife and make the magic happen. 